Hello everybody, it's Julia here from the Highly Sensitive Tarot and I'm back today to have a go at a tag. Um, this tag has been doing the rounds for quite a while and um, I've really been quite keen to have a go. I thought it was such a lot of fun and it's the blindly ranking 10 tarot and oracle decks um, which is a VR to the lovely Sylvia at Fairlight Tarot and um, I've watched her video. I also watched Nova's video at Nova Monday Tarot. I watched M Masha's video at Musings by Masha and I also watched Luna's video um, at the Creatrix Way. So I watched a few and I just thought they were such a lot of fun actually and I thought all the more fun to be honest because um, my partner has absolutely no clue about tarot and oracle cards. He has no interest. I don't think that he had even seen a tarot deck before he met me. So um, I left him alone for five minutes in my tarot room and he picked out some decks just at random because like I said, he knows, he knows nothing about them at all. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what he's chosen. I haven't looked in the bag at all. Um, but yeah, it will be interesting. I've seen a few gaps around, but I can't remember what he's taken from my boxes of decks. So, um, anyway, I've got my, my list here ready. And, um, so yeah, I'm not going to look in the bag. I'm just going to pick a deck, um, and we'll get started. So first deck. The Wild Unknown Pocket Tarot. Ooh. <clears throat> well, I like this deck a lot. I do. Um, I'm not sure that um, I'm not sure that I would call it one of my favourites as such. I don't know, but I do like it. I definitely like it. It's very intuitive. It reads well. Um, I've got the little pocket size, obviously, in the tin. Um, ooh. Where would I put this on my list? That's really tricky. It's really tricky, isn't it? It's really tricky. When I think about my collection, I've got many, many more decks that I would pick up before this one. But I do really like it. Um... Hmm. I think I'm going to put it at number seven. So wild unknown tarot. I'm going to put it at number seven. So we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> It'll be interesting, won't it, when I finish to see where these decks um, end up. So here we go. Let's have a fidget around in there. Oh, there's a deck without a box. I'll have to choose that one, I think. It's been put in there without a box. <laughs> so what is this? Oh, do you know? This is either the before tarot or the after tarot, isn't it? Which one is it? I think it might be the after tarot looking at that. It's like they've met, they've looked at each other and they're now having a little cuddle, aren't they? I think it's the after tarot, isn't it? Which again, I, I really love this deck. I love the co whole concept of the Rider Waite Smith. I like the before tarot, the after tarot. I've got tarot of the new vision. Um, it's definitely the after tarot because the boys are running away there now. Yeah. <laughs> it's the after tarot. So, yeah, I do really like this, but I wouldn't put it up very high in my list. I might even actually. Hmm. Might actually even put this at number 10, do you know, even though it's a beautiful deck. And like I said, I really like the concept of that. I did sort of study a little bit the before and the after tarot but um i'm going to put it at number 10 i think 
just because I know for absolute sure that there are many decks that I would put before that one. So I've got the Wild Unknown at number seven and the After Tarot at number 10. So let's have another fidget in here, have a feel. Mm. Ooh, Oracle of the Fairies, Healing with the Fairies, Oracle cards, Doreen Virtue. This is such a cute deck. This is one I bought second hand a while ago. I did used to have it many years ago, but I have the feeling this is one of the decks that in my divorce, my husband got, <laughs> which is so weird. Um, I, there was a few Doreen Virtue decks many years ago when I was married that we both really liked. And I think we had to, we, we argued over them for a while and we had to split them up. I think I got the goddess oracle cards and the unicorn cards and he got mermaids and dolphins and angels I think I don't know but um this is the healing with fairies and this is a very very cute little deck I do like this I I still am very very sentimental and fond of Doreen Virtue's decks I mean, for a long time, they were the, you know, they were the main part of my collection, really, um, was her Oracle decks. You know, her Goddess deck is, I think, my all-time favourite um, Oracle deck. This one, not so much, but it is really pretty. It is lovely. So, oh, <clears throat> where would I put this? Hmm, I might go for number number eight for this see I'm hedging my bets aren't I that there's some better decks in this bag <laughs> but there might not be there might not be I'm hedging my bets aren't I so yeah I'm going to write that healing with the fairies at number eight healing with the fairies there you go so let's have another one. Ooh, I showed this just recently, didn't I? Tarot Cats, Fournier deck by Anna Joan. Um, the battered little box here. Yeah, this this is such a cute deck. I this has surprised me actually at how well this deck reads. Um, <clears throat> and what a cute deck it is, really. The cats in this are hilarious. Look at that, look for the three of swords. <laughs> it's such a nice deck. Out of all my cat tarot decks, this is probably, what would this, this might be number four out of nine decks that I've got of cat tarot decks. I just, the cats in this, I saw this first on um, Mystic Emsy's channel, on Emsy's channel. I just fell in love with it. The cats in it are hilarious. They look nothing like cats, do they, really? <laughs> They've got very thick necks, which you don't usually see in a cat, do you? But they're hilarious. <clears throat> it's such a cute deck. I, I do love this. I think I'm going to put this at number six. I still don't dare put it any higher because I'm still hopeful that some of my you know, absolute favourites might be in this bag. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is more, much more difficult, isn't it, than you would think. Tarot Cats, number six. There we go. <clears throat> right, let's have another one. Ooh. Now that's a nice deck, isn't it? Plant Ally Cards by Lisa McC McLaughlin, 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 God, my pronunciation is shameful, isn't it? Anyway, it's a really amazing deck, this. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought this off Etsy a while ago, um, and I absolutely love it. So you get like a picture on the front, and then on the back, you get some information about the plant or the herb or 
um, whatever it is that you're looking at. What's that? Sea rocket. Sea rocket. Wow. Hmm. It's a really nice deck if you like your plants and if you're into herbs and especially sort of green witchery, things like that. Um, I quite like oracle decks, to be honest, actually, where you get a picture and you get some information on the back where you don't have to look it up in a book. I do quite like that for oracle cards. And I'd have to say this is probably up there in, um, in my favourites. What's this one? Assertiveness. Sweet Violet. Oh, very pretty, isn't it? Transitions. Trillium. Trillium. Don't even know what Trillium is. That's terrible, isn't it? Transitions, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, th this is a lovely deck, actually. This is a really, really lovely deck. I'm going to put this at number four I think plant ally cards yeah I'm gonna put that at number four so let's see what we've got next oh big big box big box oh the tower oracle I've been studying this deck actually through the summer with um the sacred she tarot which I've still got on my desk. Um, this is Mar P Diva Padma. And um, this is a deck of the I Ching. I Ching, I Ching. Um, I don't really have any knowledge, actually, of the I Ching, the I Ching. Um, I don't, I've not used it for that purpose. Um, it's, a, it's something I looked at like maybe 20 odd years ago, but I didn't ever really get into it. So, But as an actual oracle deck, I don't think you even need to worry about that. These cards are brilliant. I think these would be brilliant cards for um, shadow work. Um, you know, for really sort of diving deep into um, personality traits. Um yeah, those sort of issues. Like we've got here, number 34, great power. This one here. And the keywords are strength of character, authority, dignity, influence, self-confidence, leadership, peak condition and potency. So that's got very much of an emperor um, energy about it, hasn't it? And the guidebook does, um, it does tell you a lot, actually. Um yeah it's a really nice deck i do like it i think i could um i think i could work with it much more it's it's difficult isn't it when you've got such a lot of decks it's difficult to um really give the time and attention to some of these decks and i have tried over the summer with this one um but you know i've been quite distracted because i've been moving house and you know had lots of stuff to do but I have tried to give this some attention, you know, like we've got here, the family It's such a great card. Look at that, look. And it says hereditary, heredity, hereditary, blood bonds, kindred spirits, ancestry, home life, community, intimate relationships and our human family. So. You know, there's just, there's tons of information with these cards. They really do trigger, you know, lots and lots of thought processes, which I like. Um, so, yeah, I do really like this. Hmm. I don't like it enough to go in my top three. And like I said, I'm really hedging my bets that there are still in this bag some decks that I might consider to be top three decks so this has either got to go at number five or number nine so I've got five more decks in this bag still what am I going to put this at oh oh it's really difficult five or nine I think it's going to go at number five the Tao Oracle there we go 
it would be so fascinating to see at the end of this where I still put things. We've got, I'm going to go with that one. Ooh, the new era elements tarot. Well, this is one that I definitely like a lot. This is Eleanor Piper. This, this is not an easy deck to look at in many, many ways. I edged mine in this lovely bronze. But it is one of my favourite decks, just because it doesn't pull any punches. Do you know what I mean? You know, when you look at this card here, the devil, you know, power and, um, yeah, power. What power does to people. Um, the Hierophant there, the Dalai Lama, all the sunflowers for the sun. I should know who that is, don't I? I shouldn't I? It's one of one of your presidents in America, but I can't remember his name. The Emperor, uh, the High Priestess, the Universe or the World, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Air. So yeah, it's a it's a real. I do love this deck actually. The um, the guidebook is really really helpful for this deck. I remember when I was looking at the Devil card, I really liked, I mean, you don't get a lot of information in this book, but what you do get is really helpful. Like for the Devil, it says, meeting your shadow, egotism, lack of love, the price you pay, and the price you force others to pay. And I really like that because often when we read about Devil energy, we read about our own, um, our own issues don't we our own shadow our own addictions and um, the things that bind us that limit us but I just love that it said there the price you force others to pay for you and that that's truly devil energy isn't it it says in a spread the devil can move in either of two ways it forces you to examine if you are the victim or a perpetrator is there a devil in your life that chains you and sucks the very life out of you? Or are you a devil for someone else? Who is suffering because of you? Fantastic. I love that. I think, is that, where's that going to go? Second or third? I think I'm going to put the New Era Tarot in third place. So I'm still hedging my bets that there is a better deck <laughs> for the first and second place. I'm still hoping. What have we got? We've got three more decks in here. Can I tell by feeling them? No. Let's take one out. <laughs> Ooh, one of my new decks. Art Through the Eyes of the Soul Oracle. This is a beautiful deck, but I've not really had enough time to play with it to know where, oh dear, where I would rank it. This is by Cheryl Yambrach Rose. It's a very old deck. I bought this used on eBay. I don't think it's in print, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't remember this these these cards are centered around let me just see it was it was Merlin and um yeah the book this book covers the four mythic lands where where this lady lives and paints which is Narnia Avalon Bohemia and Lemuria so like Atlantis um yeah and it's just it's just fascinating you don't get a huge amount of information in the book um for the oracle card as such for guidance but you get a lot of information about what you're looking at who the person is who the character is what their story is um and why they're here really but they aren't they beautiful climb the spiral ladder one step at a time that's beautiful, isn't it? So yeah, there's a really, really pretty deck, but does it go in second place? 
Well, ninth place. Wow. I think I'm going to have to put it in ninth place just because I've not really worked with this deck yet. Um, and I've not really got to know it yet. So it would be hard for me to put it any higher up, I think. I've got the first, second and ninth place to go. So let's have a feel back in the box. Let's have that one. Ooh! <laughs> the Tower of the Abyss. My favourite deck. My absolute favourite reading deck by a long shot. If ever I was to just pull a deck out to read with these days, it would be Tower of the Abyss by Anna Torian. I just love this deck so badly, so much. My God. They're all upside down, aren't they? I edged it in black. It's just, oh, I... And it's so weird because I normally absolutely love decks with full of colour. But, um... I've really, really connected to this deck, to the emotional quality of this deck. It just reads like a dream for me. I don't even have to think about it at all. It's just the answers are always just there. Um, I think it must be the most intuitive deck that I own. And some of the cards in it, like this one, Justice, I just think is genius. Total genius. You know, that eye sees everything. Yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic deck and I have no hesitation in putting that at number one. And I bet, you know, I bet Pete doesn't even have a clue that that is my favourite deck. Even though I've probably talked about that deck like a hundred times around him, I bet he has absolutely no clue. <laughs> so I am going to put that at number one, the Tower of the Abyss. So this last, oh, I've got two more decks, haven't I? Or have I? I know I've got, I've got one more deck because I didn't write that one down, did I? Art through eyes of the soul. So my last deck, my last deck. Ooh. Well, I've got this wrong because there's no way I'd have put this in second place. Fairy Tale Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. Do you know, I bought a couple of these big eyed um, girls, these big eyed doll type decks quite a while ago, and I've never read with them at all. Never had them out of the box. Um, they've just sat on my shelf, to be honest. Maybe this is a good thing that it's come up here and it will um, encourage me to have a look at it. I'm just not sure how I feel about these cards, really. I don't know why I bought them. I think I'd seen them on other people's channels. And until you've actually got a deck in your hands and you work with it a bit and you play with it a bit, you don't really know, do you? But, um, yeah... This is what something I should like because I love fairy tales. I mean, like totally, absolutely love fairy tales, like Puss in Boots. So um, this really ought to be a deck that I should get on with, but probably because it's a big deck, the cards are a bit sticky. And I've got so many other decks that I would reach for. I mean, this has got a lot of information in the guidebook actually as well, hasn't it? A lot of information. I suppose it tells you about the story. It does tell you quite a lot about the story. And then the meanings. And it's it's quite good with the meanings. You get a list of meanings. Which is a nice thing. A lot of questions. I do like questions with an oracle deck. It's a nice deck, isn't it? But there's no way I'd have put this in the ninth... In, in the second spot... Hmm, I'm going to have to put it in the second spot, but then let's have a look. Fairy tale, oracle. <clears throat> so this is my list. So I've got Tower of the Abyss, the fairy tale oracle. 
uh, the New Era Tarot, Plant Ally Cards, the Tao Oracle, Tarot Cats, Wild Unknown Tarot, Healing with Fairies, Art Through the Eyes of the Soul and the After Tarot. So actually I haven't done so bad because I think, I think the only thing I would change round is I think I would put the tarot cats in second place and i would oh no no i think i would put healing with fairies in second place and move the fairy tale oracle down further to perhaps number eight position <laughs> i don't know i'm now starting to think the tarot cats should have been a bit higher as well don't you Hmm. So yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple there that I would change round for sure. There's a couple, but actually not too bad. And um, yeah, what a, what a thing to do, um, to choose and try and blindly rank your decks. <laughs> it's such a cool video. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed doing that and um, it was really interesting to see what Pete picked. I don't think that he picked with any kind of logic or thought processes. I think he just probably blindly picked off my shelf. So um, it's interesting to see what he's chosen and that's actually made me think I ought to give some time to this. I ought to have a look at this. Like I said, I've got another one in this um, series. I can't remember which one it is, but um, I've got another one of those as well. So perhaps I ought to get that out and um, have a have a good look at that. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed watching and um, thanks for staying to the end. If you have done, um, please do say hello. I love to hear from everybody and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.